In this video, I am going to cover the two functions that are built into Flash that check for collision between objects. The first one is hit test point, and the second one is hit test object. Both of them return Boolean values. So if it happens, it could be either it will be true. If it doesn't happen, it's false. So the first one I want to talk about is hit test point. It checks to see if the objects collide with a specific point. So for example, you can have a specific point on the stage. You can have a specific point on an object, like if I wanted to see if this point here on this object collided with that point object, or this object here collided with this point on this object. I can also make it collide with the point that represents the mouse. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first just look at this star, which I've called star 1. You can see here, if star 1. And I'm going to check it to see if it hit test points with my mouse. If it does hit test point with my mouse, I'm going to output hitting, and if not, I'm going to output in these text fields not hitting. Now I have two different text fields, both that are representing this hit test point. One is with shape flag being true, and one is with shape flag being false. So you can see these two pieces, these two if statements, look exactly the same except this one has true in it and this one has false. This is the shape flag area right here where you put true or false. So I just want to show you the difference between it and then I'll explain what it does. So right now, notice they both say no hit, not hitting because I'm not anywhere near it. As soon as I cross this dotted line, which I've used to, rep, uh, to demonstrate where the bounding box of this is, notice the one that says false goes to hitting. But it doesn't go to hitting for the one that says true until I actually select the star. Or, or sorry, I actually um, go into the star. So true, when shape flag is true, it's saying ignore the bounding box and only look where there's actually something in there. Okay, so I'm only looking where there's actually something there. But with shape flag, shape flag set to false, it does care about the bounding box. Now I want to show you how hit test object works. And I'm going to do that by testing the collision between this star and this star. So I'm going to remove the comment block from this code here. And now what's going to happen is this star, it's um, it's called this registration point is right in the middle so it is going to follow my mouse where um, the middle part of it is actually where my mouse is okay and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say if the star hit test objects with star 1 so this is star 2 and this is star 1 then I am going to up here in this box um, output either hitting or not hitting. So if it does actually hit it, then it's going to say hitting. If it doesn't, it's going to say not hitting. So let's run it now. So notice it's now following my mouse. And notice as soon as I cross where that bounding box is, it goes to hitting. Now you might think that it's going with that point of that star, but you'll see if I come around this way, it does it before even the points of the star cross. What it's actually looking at are the bounding boxes of these two stars. The bounding box of this looks like that. Okay, So as soon as that bounding box crossed, it was going to um, say hitting. So you might think that his hit test object is um, not very helpful, but it is actually very helpful if you are working with two things that are rectangular. Um, and in a lot of games you will be, especially if you're working with um, kind of games that look very spritey where um, everything is kind of in a grid. Um, it's also really helpful if you do have something that is kind of weird like this. You can put actual little objects inside of it that are rectangular and then check for the hit test object between these objects and then maybe you have the same thing with this one. So there's no terribly elegant way to do that, to test if this star ignoring its bounding box and this star ignoring its bounding box collide, but you can find a lot of uh, complicated 
code that is available on the internet that will help you do it. Um, but if you want to do it yourself, uh, the easiest way, in my opinion, is actually to either use points, look at the points on the various objects, or to hide invisible objects inside of it that you'll check the collision for on there.